So Daniel was talking earlier about a very powerful insight. It's about how to pray mm -hmm. for your partner or hold the space or hold the of, space the, highest of the highest expression. Mm -hmm. Let me show you the practical part of it. Okay, you ready? Are you ready for this? This is going to shift a lot of things for you. Now, let me give you the science of it, okay? Your body is a pharmacy, but at the same time, it's a spiritual device. Let me break it down for you. When you keep thinking a thought, that thought is going to become your neural pathways. When a thought becomes your neural pathways, the brain will begin to create chemicals or hormones that will match the neural pathway, the data of the neural pathway. Then those chemicals will become your feelings and your feelings will become your aura and your aura will telepathically move as energy and frequency and enter the aura of the person you hold your attention on. And when that aura or frequency enter the aura, the, the brain wave absorb it and communicate it to their brain and begin to produce in them a hormone or chemicals that will incite an intuitive desire for them to be transformed and change. Mm -hmm. We say usually you cannot change people. Uh, spiritually, you can. You can make a telepathic suggestion and they will receive it as an inception and use it as an inclination, like uh, something they can, they can hold on to so that they can begin to be transformed. Mm -hmm. So what Daniel is telling you here is very powerful. Let me explain to you what I'm saying. Let's say your partner is struggling with some behaviors. Now, when you start, before you go to bed at night, how would your partner look like or behave if she or he was performing better? Like the opposite, the positive as aspect, right? Mm -hmm. Of what you believe that they're not doing right. Mm -hmm. Let's say if they, 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 they tend to be angry. Yeah. A lot. Mm -hmm. If they were calm. How would they look like? What would that look like? What like would that look like? So you create a script for that. And what you do, you close your eyes and you go into your imagination. And you create a movie where you involve your, your spiritual five senses, right? Into the movie. Visualizing and seeing them. Being that best version of themselves, mm -hmm. which is like Daniel said, if they're angry, when they are calm, how would they look like? Mm -hmm. So you begin to as interact with them in your own imagination, in, in the calm self. As you're doing that, you're forming a neural pathway. You do it consistently, eventually your neural pathways will begin to create chemicals. Each time you do it, guess what's going to happen? You're going to start feeling calm yourself. You're going to start feeling calm. You're going to start feeling calm. And now that calmness is going to move through your aura. And when you move through your aura, when they come into your space, the aura is going to pick it up. And when the aura pick it up, it start communicating to the brain, to the brain wave. And then you continue to do that telepathically. When you think about them, you keep communicating to them telepathically right. the vibration that you are creating internally. Mm -hmm. Do you know how powerful that is? The problem is you keep on holding the toxic image mm -hmm. of your partner in your mind. Mm -hmm. That's why the problem keeps on going because you are doing exactly the reverse of what you should be doing. All right. So in the next insight, we are going to take you way deeper. Let me add something to that real quick. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what it's called scientifically, honey, how they can put two electrons in two separate places. Entanglement. 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 So in quantum to... physics, it's called entanglement. Entanglement. So now there is, there is this, this being, this person, there is the, the there is their perfect self yes. in, in God. Mm -hmm. That is, that is their divine blueprint. Yes. The, the, that is, that hasn't been to any pain, any situation mm -hmm. is the perfect expression of God that is in God, intact, yeah, untouchable. Yes, that's that's the version of your partner. Mm -hmm. Now there's the personality one that's in this incarnation that's doing this those things that they need to yeah, do. Yeah, accumulated all the and, and one of those personality is them being your partner. Yeah. But there's also the Alan likes to call it um, di digital version. The, di the digital version of themselves. Of, in your mind. The, how do you know there is an image of the, your partner in your mind? They may not be in front of you, but they may have said something to you the night before, and you at work, and they at work, and then you You're keep arguing. going. You keep arguing with with your partner in your mind. I can't believe they did that. Oh my goodness. This is real. Like, you are really doing you it. You literally, <laughs> you literally sending toxic energies through negative feelings, replaying 
uh, some unresolved issues in your mind throughout the whole day. Mm -hmm. Your brain is more powerful than your cell phone. So, you so, can Wi-Fi into people's consciousness. So, 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 <laughs> what, what, what are we doing when we are doing that? We are activating more of what we don't want. Mm -hmm. So now, when you meet your partner after work for dinner, or you guys, um, you know, when you come back together at some point, the, hmm. that all those toxic energies that you've been sending towards your partner gonna create even an when argument. You, were, you were not together he will tap when the physical partner is in front of you he or she will tap into that those energies you can and say will, the nicest thing it will create an argument and, and, and they will give back to you unless they enlighten unless they're super conscious right but he or she will give back to you all those toxic energies that you've been, been putting sending. out but you forgot what and you the, did and that is why other people will say so and so is nice so and so is nice and you're like but he's not nice but to me know, but, but it's because of those negative thoughts and feelings you've been holding about the image of your partner in you've your been own pouring mind. into them telepathically so this, so this exercise that alan is talking about is to first of all heal Mm -hmm. the, image the image of your partner in your psyche because as you begin to do that two things gonna happen you're going to tap into um the god the god's nature image. in them yeah and then you can intuitively by the holy spirit receive something that will come as a message yes but when it comes out of you it will, it will not sound like you're trying to discipline them and you're trying to be a, a mother to them, a father to them. It will come with so much grace and compassion mm -hmm. because of all the positive prayers and that holding have... that perfect image for yes. them. You can tap into an information that can help them, help them and transform. assist them. Otherwise, you're tapping into the negative self. And they're going to be and playing that will... script to you over and over again. You can see the nicest thing. The vibration will trigger something negative because of what you have been doing. In the next insight, we are going to dive even deeper into that. Stay tuned. Bye-bye.